Hey, what is up, YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and today I'm going to be having the joyous fun of repairing this motor. And this phone does not like to focus for some reason, but whatever. So, my problem is this pinion gear, or whatever kind of gear you want to call it, uh, on the uh, output shaft on the motor. So yeah, the output shaft on the motor, they have this gear, which drives, you put the chain, uh, it drives the chain to drive your uh, your rear wheel. So, the problem is, it's freely turning, and on the inside right there, you can hardly see it. I'm going to try to get this focused. So, as I was saying, right there on the inside, so I'm going to point it out, right inside there, right there, a little hole. I think there were supposed to be two different keyways on each side, so. Kind of hard to turn it with one hand. So you have the one hole right there, next to my finger now. And the other one right there, again. So I'm going to try to uh, bore a hole three, straight through this shaft, so I can put this little keyway inside of it. I don't know if I'll be able to get this thing to focus. I'm going to try. I'm trying to get this camera to focus, I apologize. So here we got the little keyway at the end of this, Allen key. Here we go, it's in focus now. So we're going to insert this uh, keyway after boring a hole through the output shaft on this motor and then try to uh, put this in and I have some, um, what do you call it, I actually forgot, I'm sorry, Loctite. I'm going to put some Loctite on the threads and then thread this in and uh, hopefully it'll keep this gear from turning freely on the shaft like it's been doing. So, never had this problem actually ever happen before, but that's the problem that I'm having. And while I'm at it, obviously gonna clean off these uh, steel, uh, whatever you call it. I forget the core. I, I don't know the technical terms anymore offhand. I know how to ever work on stuff, but I just don't know the terms. Yeah, the actual motor is in pretty decent shape. It's gonna be cleaned up a little bit. It's kind of dirty, but. So ultimately not bad for the uh, amount of usage I've put through this thing, and even after over-volting over it, it's really not that bad. See how the windings heated up a little bit, so you can see the darker uh, bits of copper, the uh, varnish on it, it's been darker, it's a little bit darker shade, so you can tell uh, it's been heated up, but not very much, it's not black, it's not crisping off, and that's good, so you don't want that to happen uh, on your windings. So when we start working on this, I will get back to you guys and do a second part of the uh, video on exactly how this goes, and hopefully it'll work, because I don't feel like having to buy another motor. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned and like and subscribe for more.